Tonight's big story, a West Tennessee town is at the center of controversy for its display of crosses again, but this time a lawsuit has been filed in federal court. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claudia Barr. I'm Richard Ransom. The town of Whiteville, its mayor, and the board of aldermen have all been named in a civil liberties suit, but many in the area feel it's their rights that are under attack. News Channel 3's Elise Preston is just back from Whiteville and is here now with more. Elise. The mayor of Whiteville says the lawsuit comes as no surprise to him, but he's upset the controversy over crosses has gotten this far. He and others in the town are calling those filing the lawsuit bullies, while the group is calling the mayor a loose cannon. You'll find crosses planted firmly in the majority of yards in Whiteville, but standing tall on top of the Whiteville water tower, you'll find this broken cross. It's this partially mutilated cross that the Freedom From Religion Foundation is so upset about. They say it just shouldn't be there. We have a godless and secular constitution. There's no Jesus. There's no Ten Commandments. There's no crosses. There's no God in our constitution. The group says a Whiteville man who they won't identify called them over a year ago, offended and shocked the cross could hover over the town. At that point, the symbol was a full cross. The group sent several letters of concern to the mayor, who then had a piece of the cross removed. But the group says this three-armed symbol, as it is now, still signifies a cross and call the whole situation situation bizarre. He is sending a, a message, a clear message, that Whiteville is for Christians. Hmm. And that, you know, is just as um, unseemly and just as discriminatory as if he was sending a message that Whiteville, Whiteville is for whites. She is absolutely wrong. Mayor James Beller tells News Channel 3 the town has complied with every demand of the group. We'll just let the uh, Federal courts decide why Whiteville is being singled out. Jack Sidori works in Whiteville. He agrees with the mayor. You would have to take a jackhammer and and blow up the whole city of Washington, D.C. with all the Christian principles that are all over the place. And he feels the lawsuit is an attempt to wipe out Christianity. Christians, uh, unfortunately, have buried their heads in the sand for the for many, many years, and people have just forgotten what this nation was built upon. Now, the suit also lists crosses that were in front of City Hall. Since the lawsuit was filed, those crosses have been completely removed. Reporting live, Elise Preston, WREG News Channel 3. Thank you, Elise. And a breaking news update Memphis Fire and